Welcome back to Open Line, talking about the gas tax that is proposed in the Tennessee General Assembly. We have with us John Ray Clemens, a Democratic representative from Nashville, talking about his feelings on the tax. We've also had Representative Hawk on, Republican, um, talking about his thoughts on the tax. We are streaming this conversation so you can comment on Facebook, and we're going to go back to the phones. Let's go to Marsha. Hello, Marsha. Hello. Hi, Marsha. Go right ahead. Well, my question was, is every penny of the gas tax, does it go toward construction? And what about these bike lanes that I've been seeing, um, you know, some pretty elaborate ones? Um, is that paid for, I guess, with the gas tax? And I also want to add, why is the diesel tax going to be um, much more than the gas tax? I, the diesel tax is um, 10 cents a gallon. The gas tax, I believe, is six cents. That's what's in the governor's proposal. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so what, do you, what about the question she's asking there? So the dedicated revenue, yes, there is uh, in, contained within the proposal. Uh, we've all pretty much insisted on it evidence the intent of the General Assembly is for these funds to be used specifically to maintain roads and bridges, um, including the interstates, um, support economic development of transportation systems. It's all specifically supposed to be used for those types of purposes um, rather than being spread around. Now bike lanes are generally part of the roadway. They're part of the general um, transportation build out. What, how they mark them off and so forth and where they go is, you know, it's a local issue. There are a lot of um, federal grants and state monies that can be used for those. So they're paid, I, I think the fair answer is in part by some of these dollars, just because they're part of the roadway as it exists generally. Lola Loftus here on Facebook says, I wouldn't mind paying three to five dollars on my water and trash bill if that would, um, uh, it went to fixing roads, making our way to and from work and school better. Um, could you please talk about that? So there's somebody saying she paid three dollars more on her water and trash. I, I guess that would translate to, to gasoline. Somebody who, if it would make her drive into work better, um, she's willing to do it. So, well, I, I think she raises an interesting point. I, I, we've heard a lot of people have an appetite for different surcharges or local taxes and they're willing to pay a little bit more here and there in different areas. And that's where I was kind of talking about this, the local option. We really need to open that up to figure out what, you know, what do people have an appetite for? Because we're going to have to find the money somewhere. And, and, and we need to empower and enable our local governments to figure out what's best for his residents. What's best for Nashville may not be the same as, you know, what Williamson County or DeKalb County wants. So. My feeling is, while it's kind of scary to, you know, to open up the door for all these local taxes, they each, any of them that are passed, have to be passed by a local, by a referendum, by a majority of the people, and they have to be specifically intended to build out transportation infrastructure. So they are very targeted, and it will be used for a specific purpose, and the people will get to vote on it. It won't happen without people voting. Right. Let's go to Gary. Hello, Gary. Yes, sir. Go right ahead. Yes. Why is it that you're saying cars are going to be at six cents a gallon, diesel is going to be at the governor's ten cents a gallon, when so many people now have the high efficiency diesel engines in their cars? Why can't the cars be all the same? And the truck stops. If they want them higher, they can do that ten cents a gallon. And what hap what happened to the millions of dollars that the state? robbed from TDOT several years ago. They still not have paid that back. Why haven't they paid it back? The millions and millions of dollars. That was to put into the general fund, right? I think that was under Bredesen. Yeah, that was when we, you know, 2008 were dark times in the state of Tennessee and all over the country. Um, and that was about the that was about the time frame where they did that. There is a proposal out there, and it has been proposed, and the governor's even talked about it, is paying that money back in this proposal or at the end of the day um, and so that is we're really talking about addressing that and repaying that money uh, and we're making clear that in the future we want to keep that line between the two and not send any money um, 
you know, across to the other, maintain that integrity. Um, and, and then his other the, question is about, and we, I, I, we need to address that because it's been asked more than once, about yeah. diesel. Why is diesel 10 cents and um, gasoline, regular gas, um, 6 cents? Why the difference? So it's going up from 20 cents to 26 cents over the next couple of years. The diesel is going up from 17 to 27. Uh, that, w that was, you know, lower than the original proposals. Um, the original proposals were far higher than that on both of them. Um, the, I think what is fair to say is all interested parties, whether it be trucking companies and, and you know, and a lot of people now, you know, your average uh, guy out there like me or somebody else out driving around in a diesel, you know, pickup truck perhaps didn't have direct say in this, but a lot of interested parties were at the table and that's an amount they thought that they could agree on. And again, these are phased in over a couple of years. Now, it's not, like I said, it's not ideal, um, but that is the corner into which we painted ourselves and the way our budget is structured. We are limited on how to, you know, generate money for our transportation system. We've got to get more creative and, and put less burden on working families. And two minutes left in this segment. This is critically important for Nashville. And the legislature, obviously, the whole state of Tennessee is affected. We're talking about a gas uh, tax increase that would impact the whole state of Tennessee. But in the final two minutes we have here, why is this so important to Nashville specifically, in your opinion? Well, Nashville is the economic engine of the state of Tennessee. We all know that. There's no denying it. Our prosperity will plateau if we do not address this. Transportation should be the number one priority of every business in the state of Tennessee and it should be the focus of every citizen in the state of Tennessee, specifically Nashville. Now, what you've seen a lot is a lot of these special interest groups who proclaim to represent businesses, you know, trying to get carve outs and cuts and we can't have that because the average working man out there, a woman, isn't getting that special cut out and they're going to take the brunt of this. So this has to be fair and it has to be the focus of everyone. Uh, and it's so important in Nashville because like I said, we're driving the economy of the state. We have a real problem. The data is clear. The population is growing. We all know the development is happening. The density is here. Um, it's just there is no stopping it. It is what is happening. Now, whether you like it or not, it's a reality, and we have to build the infrastructure to be prepared for it. Now, what I think, you know, there are parts of the governor's plan that are good that will help us address that. I don't think it goes enough in some areas, or far enough in some areas, and I don't think it allows Nashville and our region to really address the needs of this city and the larger region, the multi-county region, um, and our need for things like the Music City Star and other projects similar to that to keep people coming in and out of this city in an efficient manner so they can spend more time with their children, so they can go to more ball games and practices after school, and they can spend more hours at the office working if they're working an hourly job or, you know, or creating jobs. And so it is vital for every segment of the population. All right, we're going to have to take a break. We'll come back, uh, wrap everything up. Be back right after this.